Hello there, this is going to be a continuation sort of playthrough, for want of a better word, from... Uh, I did a couple of videos on how to get a good start, and I think I did get a good start, and this is this is 93 years into that game now. I can't remember where I left off, but I did two quite long videos about it, and I'm not doing too bad, but I'm not doing as good as I thought I would have done. Uh, I'll just show you the situation before I start the time going. We've, we've had plenty of research done, and that's going quite well. And when I zoom the map out, that's our little sector there that, I've, that I'm in control of, plus a few other ones that are, that's dotted about. There's the, well, how many is that? I can't tell. I think that's one little, one little, one little civilization there. Let's just check contacts. Uh, they're pathetic compared to us, and I have a funny feeling that that could be them. Oh no, they're there. Oh, I didn't even see them before. Uh, let's have a look for some more. Well, I mean, we want them all to be pathetic, <laughs> really. These are inferior to her. The Nahufunnis, or whatever they are. Uh, is that this, the Tranquil Compact? Let's have a look at them. They can't be as good as us either. Well, where are they? The Tranquil Compact? It doesn't, doesn't even show up here, does it? Oh, there it is. And they're superior to us. Oh, no. Oh, it's because they've got a fleet and we haven't. If you look up there, we actually haven't got a fleet. Which is, in this game, that's taken a little bit of a risk. Because you could get attacked. Even though the AI is as dumbed down as, as possible. And as least aggressive as possible. But we've got quite a lot of space there. And uh, research is going well. I've got sectors s s pretty much sorted out. Uh, that's the main sector. Look at the population on it, 216. 21 planets. Uh, and that's got a research focus. That's got an industrial focus. That's It's quite small, that sector, though. And that's just got a balance for, because they're not really contributing much at all. Uh, I'm doing well on on uh, on research up to a point, but there's still still AI empires that are, that are actually better than me. Their tech level's superior to ours. Let's have a look. Let's see where they're at. That's these lot. They've got quite a lot of space. Uh, I don't really see what more I can do. I think I'm fundamentally missing something in this game. I'm not quite sure what it is. But some of, Like I've said in other videos that I've done, I'm used to playing this sort of game, and this one's not playing like a normal uh, space conquering game. Because usually you get as much space as possible, and you're pretty much unbeatable. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be like that. And there's probably some subtlety that I'm not getting. I've expanded. I'm, I'm still expanding. And uh, you can see there's a lot There's a lot there. But I'm still I'm still lack, lack, sort of lagging behind some of the AI empires. You know, technology-wise. You, you can forget about the ships. The, uh, the fleet size, because I've got zero fleet, so everyone's going to be superior to me, but it's the tech level that's bothering me. They shouldn't be superior to me. I'm, I'm, I would have thought that it'd be difficult for them to be superior to me. Uh, where are they? Yeah, their tech level's superior. Theirs is inferior. Equivalent. And theirs is superior. These other ones are just the like that civilization, that civilization. They're not they're not direct uh, opponents really. 
they they're sort of like supposedly coming from a, a lesser tech level. We'll see anyway. See how this goes. I'm going to start time going. I just would have thought I would have done better by now. But I've got a couple of colony ships on the way out to uh, to go colonise in this area. And and then I'll do a little bit more surveying. Obviously surveying is pretty important. Still got a few of these uh, you know, places that, that, that they're basically blocking you. You know, because we've got a fleet in there of some description. You just can't tell what they are at the moment. It just says hostile alien vessels. Could be anything from some sort of stupid space squid to a shard to a space pirate. I don't like that sort of thing. Uh, and what's here? Colonization in progress. Yeah, there's some sort of alien ship. You know, these are some sort of silly alien ships. They're quite easy to get rid of. But I'm trying to save my resources to... Uh, by not building ships at the moment. Because I'm still doing a lot of tech research. I've got to get on that research. I'll have to just pause it a sec. Non-aggression pact. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. Even though I'm going to attack you at the first opportunity. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be tech. Plasma cannons. Xenobiology. The living state. Heritage sites. Well, I'll just unlock that because it's going to be so quick. I'm going to have to start doing a bit of uh, military here. So I can build up uh, a force. I want these to... to start building now. Build some mining stations there. And build... It's there's it, a lot to do, isn't there? What did I, I just saw something there. Oh, that's all science there. Well, I might as well do it. Might as well do it. I think there's a lot more going on in the background of this game that I'm that I'm just not understanding. Because usually at this stage, in 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 the games I'm normally used to playing. I would have been kicking some serious alien backside by now. I'd be totally overwhelming them, but that's not happening. So I'll start. I'll 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 I'll, I'll start time rolling, full speed. And I'm still surveying. Uh, I'll go survey some of these alien places while well, I've got chance. Uh, where else? Where else? Where else? Can't go to that one. Can I get down here? Yeah, you can go there. Are you going to get intercepted or not? Now that one's got a planet on it that's habitable, but it's got a blocker on it. Yeah, alien vessels, they'll be, they've got a low number, so they're going to be quite easy to get rid of. I'm sure there's some blooming pirates around here somewhere, you know, quite a lot of them. I just can't remember where. I think this might be it. I think the pirates might be here. But I'm not sure. It might not be pirates. Incoming transmission. Yeah, no pirates. Incoming transmission. In no. You're not I'm not giving you anything. You're too far behind losers. <laughs> and where are we gonna go now? 
actually. No, you can't get there, can't get there, can't get there from where you were. Well, I'll just do some just local surveying then. It always comes in handy to have these, these places surveyed. As I've said before, the combat is disappointing. I think it's just a big, a, a big load of ships turn up, and you don't have any control over it. Or if you do, uh, I, I can't find out how to do it. System survey complete. Now they. Uh... Research complete. Now what are we going to have there then? We'll build a science lab. So it's got the science. It's got the science uh, bonus on the tile. Now what's that there? Upgrade. Can't upgrade it to planetary capital yet. Build a basic science lab there. Hydroponics. Hydroponics again. Yes. And you're not doing anything, are you, mate? Just sat there lazing about. With your fancy posy hairstyle. Uh, what am I going to have there? Some System server. Power plant. Yeah, that'll be hard work for you, won't it? Because you've been so lazy doing nothing. And you can do some mining, System woman. Survey complete. Mineral. Mining network. What's that? Produces two of them. I don't know what difference is. Mineral process plant produces some oh, mineral. Mineral. Established. Not point miles of a mining network, so there's not much minerals there, is there? Okay, I've got some research to set going again. 27 months to me droids. That just reveals a resource that you can use, strategic resources over here, of which I've got none at the moment. I'm still enjoying playing the game, but uh, I'll probably get I'll, I'll probably get bored. Yeah, I've got my survey in that already. They're gonna. Uh, it's always good, isn't it, when you get these pop-ups and then something else comes up in background. That's the major annoying thing about this game. There's been an update for it in the past couple of days. And you can't tell what the update's done. It certainly ain't give you the option to uh, to filter anything. You get pop-ups on pop-ups on pop-ups, and it's extremely distracting. You've got to concentrate on this game to make sure that you, you've not forgotten to do something. And it just distracts you constantly. Better go back to my main planet and just check if there's all to do there. System survey yeah. complete. Colonies They're not doing anything, are they? System survey complete. Uh, they're not doing anything. So I'm trying to concentrate on doing, you know, the sciencey things. Upgrade to planet, planetary capital. And I'm just going to stack these up because I'll, I'll forget to come back to them. You know, clearing the tiles. Uh, and then it'll, they'll, they'll just be forever not having anyone on them. Because the population can't move into them System until you've cleared them. Complete. Eighteen months to androids. The AI will start using them when I've put the sectors in. Ooh, ooh, I've gone a bit over my limit there. Seven of five up here. 
construction complete. Yeah, it's costing us 20%. So, I'll... System survey complete. System survey complete. It's this lot down here, really. I'll have to just put them into a sector. Sazvik, I'll, I'll put them into that one. It's quite easy to do. But it costs, if, if you put them in, it's, it, it, costs, it costs you nothing, but to take them out, it costs you uh, influence. Just gotta work, I'll just have to work my way across. Per patiently. Complete. It's actually the other way, I'll have to get on research in a second. Perhaps I'll pause it. So I don't, I don't want time to run away too fast, because AI is doing probably thousands of things in a second, and I'm only doing one thing at a time. So I'm just making this sector bigger, it's it's pretty easy. That doesn't even look like it belongs in there, does it? But it's because you've got like that three-dimensionality about the map, that's underneath the galactic plane. I've now gone under the number now. I'm back to f f five uh, main planets now. But I'm just going to add them anyway because it don't it don't make any difference. I, I raised the technology of that planet so they could be sort of space faring like us. It's something that you can do in this game. It's quite interesting. Right, now we've gone down to three of five up top there. I've sort of moaned about the AI having too much control, but you can sort of change it to do what you want to do. You know, regarding technology and, and that sort of thing. See, that's quite a big sector now. What's that sector there? That'll do. That's good enough. See, it's quite time consuming, isn't it? I've got to go back to my technology now. Select my research. Uh, vitality boosters, leader lifespan. I'll go for that. Cause they're always dying. See, their idea of a leader is like a scientist and all that sort of thing as well, not just particularly a leader. System survey complete. Plasma cannons are still 32 months away. I'll see if there's any traditions that I can do. Diplomacy. Let's look at my supremacy and see what I can do. So you just get 20% border range just by adopting that. What's that going to do? Master System ship rights, complete. ship build speed, naval capacity. I'll go for that when I get chance, but I don't have enough unity. That's, that's this up here, unity is what you need. Influence is capped at, at uh, a thousand. But I like this, the expansion planner. It's very handy. System survey complete. It's very, very handy. Construction complete. Oh, there's one. I hadn't even surveyed it. Why aren't I saying that then? Actually, I want to cancel whatever you're doing. 
So I want you to go straight there to survey that. System survey complete. System survey complete. Where are you at? You're right over there. Ooh. Long way from home. And see if there's all else to colonize around here. There's Ribor. Riblaw. I need to go this way down to sort of put a wedge through that bit. So I've got Mang Vang. <laughs> Hodlum and nom 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 nom. Let's have a look. Mang. I'm just I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go colonize them. I'll worry about the consequences later. Touch complete. Oh, that's there's two in that one. What what just happened? Where did they go? System survey complete. Construction. They just disappeared complete. while I were looking at them. I'll oh, just have to put them in. Uh, put them in alphabetical order. The, the way this works is is awful. We really need a, a, the screen setting out different or a mouse with the scroll wheel. Because when you get to the bottom, it does this wraparound thing where it goes back to, you can't, you, I can't describe it, but it basically goes right back to the top and you can't, you can't go up to go to the bottom again, if you know what I mean. So if I go off the, if I go off the edge here, I'll have to start all over again to go all the way back down. System survey complete. Desert world and an ocean world. Why should I be colonising from Sirius Prime? With robots. No, it's done it again. Right. Why robots? AI control colony ship, standard construction, construction template. Complete. Oh, never mind. See, see what happens. Just do it. See what see what happens. Must be reason because now with that same system, maybe it was because it was not inhabitable for uh, humans, possibly. That's a continental world. See, I think what happens is per system. I'll, I'll, I'll actually have to come complete. back to what I'm saying. Otherwise, it won't make any sense to you. Well, there's a lot of places there, isn't there? Riblar. Oh, and again, well, yeah, it must be something to do with habitability. It's got to be. Well, this is interesting. That's very interesting. That all them all them colonies in one, and I'll show you why. What what I mean is, we're only allowed uh, five directly controlled colonized systems. Okay, so if we if we look at this list we've got here, 
we've got one two three four right but it's systems i've got two two planets in alpha centauri which are independent of each other and i can give orders to them in fact i need to do something with that one don't i because i've got unemployed populations uh what do i want there what's that then a bit oh it's got to have a special stone on on the tile system survey and i can't have any of them because it's only got a basic colony great planetary administration uh, I should have a power plant, mineral silo. I want an energy grid. Why can't I have that? Oh, because I've got planet planetary admin. I'll wait for that then. Uh, and meanwhile, we'll just clear a couple of these these tile blockers. Go to Alpha Centauri. See, we can do some upgrading there now. And what we got there? Physics research. And that's engineering. So, an engineering facility. <laughs> Engineering's like the cog, you see. You can see it down that tile. It's got a bonus. So, that's why I'm, I'm choosing that one. Uh. What's on that sort of diverse forested terrain? There's a little animal on there. Oh, alien pets. Local resource. Research now what's... It, that's... Uh, that's biology. Bio lab, that progress. And that's going to be power plant. Great power plant. No, I want that on physics. Mineral plus <laughs> mineral processing plant. Processing plant. One of these days I'll get my teeth in properly. What's going on on Earth too? That's that's full in it. No upgrades available for anything. I don't think. Research complete. Yeah, planetary capital. They're going to be full soon, aren't they? So upgrade to planetary administration on that, and just do a couple of these tile blockers while I make. I'll forget if I don't. A door vang I want that as well. A door vang. See, I'll show you what I mean. I'll go down to the bottom. About the way this works. Go right down to the bottom. And it lets you run off the end, you see, if you're not very careful. So, I'm down on, right at the bottom one on Z, obviously. And if I go down one, it now goes right back up to the top. <laughs> but you can't see it. Sorry about that. But you can't see that. So I'll, I'll. You would think logically. I'll just press up. So I'm pressing up and nothing's happened. I'm using the sticks, and now press down. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, at least it's only gone to that page. Ah, that must be one of the improvements in patch. That must be what they've done in the patch. Because previously, that if I went down like that, it put you right back to Alpha Centauri. And then when I click down again, you see how it just went up to X. It would go up to A. So that must be, I think that must be one of the improvements that they've made. That's good. I'm glad they've done that because it needed it. Now what we need is a filter on the, all the silly messages that it sends constantly. About this, that and the other. That you're just, just not interested in. Hyperdrive 3, that'll be good. Clone Army. Deep Space Marauder Missiles Devastator Torpedoes I'll have the, I'll have the resource first because that's going to be quick I'm not anticipating a war yet and I'm not really geared up for one so I'm taking a little bit of a chance 
but I didn't get where I am today by not taking a little bit of a chance. And where I am is nowhere. Nowhere. No, they've been surveyed down there and there's habitable planets. What we got, what we got. So I'll go survey that. And then that, because we, we might have got to move androids into these, mightn't we? Just thought of that. That'd be interesting. I'll specifically target someone that's red then. Hang on. Grekil. Let's have a look. Colonization in progress. Tile blocker cleared. Yeah, this is the other side of it, is it? Well, <laughs> there should be a way to just zoom straight up there, but there isn't. Not even a double press does anything. Hmm. I lost my thread now. What was it called? Grekil. Let's see if it shows up. A tomb world. And you can send androids to it. Yeah, it's the habability. Once you've got androids, then you can pretty much colonise anything. That must be how it works. I think you actually have to physically build them yourself, though. I don't think they automatically... Uh, oh, they, they haven't done in the past when I've used androids. Not automatically reproduced. Like the normal populations do. I want to be over here now. Edor, Vang and... Odlemon. I think it's called. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's a lot of them there, isn't there? A lot of a lot of uh, habitable worlds on it. This will be this will be interesting. Because that's now got the androids on it. I wonder if they dream of electric sheep. That's a book, by the way, and they made it into a film called Blade Runner, uh, which was at the, you know back in the early eighties, and that was one of my favourite films. It's not it's not bad now. You can still watch it. It's a little bit. Uh, it's one of the makes you think a little bit. It's, it's really about the nature of, nature of reality, but it's dressed up in a sci-fi film. It's written by an author called uh, Philip K. Dick, who, who believes, for good reason, that we actually live in a simulation. That's why he was always fascinated by uh, the nature of reality. It's good, yeah. Good book and a good film. Makes you think, anyway. Let me see what my construction ships are up to, or not up to. I still would like a mouse. I really would like a mouse on this. I'll target somewhere that's got a lot of... A lot of resources. I think I'm, every, you see everything's showing green up here. So I've, I put a lot of effort into into doing that up there, getting all the little mining stations and all that done, and research stations. It does make a difference overall. It just can be a bit bit of a pain and the AI actually does that as well or it will do that if you give it uh, give it enough time they will start doing that sort of thing they'll also colonize planets
which is quite handy. Or maybe not. I'm not really sure. I've not played. I've played the game a lot, but I've never really got that far. I'm not. I've not done that well in it. Start time going now. You see, you can do a lot for free when you've got it paused. Let's look at you to go surveying places. Oh, I think it's probably time to get rid of this. Yeah, disband that fleet. And I'll do just do some surveying round here. I'll survey that section. See, they won't pass into the places that have got the red exclamation mark on it. See where Galileo is. They can't go that way. No, denied access to that place. Research complete. Survey there. Survey there. Survey there. See, we're no longer after. We're no longer tied to these green worlds now. We've got androids, so we can. We're, the sky's basically the limit now. I must run out of orders. Run out of orders to chain. That is. There is a limit, you say. See, I'm up to four. Come on. Four or five directly controlled systems, but I'm, I'm hoping that that they'll show up. It's just you know, each system will be a system rather than it's not done on a planetary basis. So in five planets, it's five systems you have control over, which is what he says. So it should be like that. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Right, I need to get back on the research. System survey complete. Hmm. It is complicated. And there's one of... See, one of my... Uh, one of my sectors has made their own ships now. And there's one of them right there. So, let's see if we can get any info on it. Science ship. Yeah, they're out surveying now, you see. So the AI, in its own system, has now sent off uh, ships to do, you know, what I've been doing myself. So it looks like it's just, it's pretty good AI really, isn't it? If I can do with that, I'm gonna to have to start clearing some of these System blocker places now. So it's time to start thinking about making a fleet and clearing out these aliens, and and really taking control of my sectors and opening up all these hyperspace lanes. Because I don't want to be denied access uh, to potential sort of resources and and that. System survey complete. Research don't have to go fast at this stage. Colony established. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll it, it's twenty three oh one. So that's hundred and one years in the game. What I'll do is I'll save this game, play it a bit more, and then I'll give you an update. If I think, if I think how interesting's happened. So if you watch it, thanks. And I'll, I'll see you in the next episode. Colony established. Mm -hmm.